Can these new boba drinks at Starbucks save the company from its declining sales? David, I just tried the drinks. Let's talk about it. You know, when Starbucks first came to Asia, everybody was so excited. But now Starbucks is looking to Asia for inspiration to save Starbucks America. What a change of fortune. Andrew, you just reviewed some of the new Starbucks drinks that uh, are boba inspired. Let's run the clip. All right, everybody, I'm trying Starbucks boba. This is their, of their summer series. This is the Summer Skies. This is the Berry Lemonade. As you can see, it's popping pearls. Okay, kind of tastes like a uh, blue Gatorade version of the pink drink that they have here. It's a little creamy, not bad, a little coconutty. Kind of refreshing, but kind of artificial. Blue Lemonade. Um, for a Berry Lemonade, I like it. The popping pearls, they break very quickly in your mouth. They're very juicy, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of popping pearls, period. And obviously, as far as giving you actual, true Taiwanese boba shop vibes, I'm gonna give these a one out of five rating. Okay, it tastes a little bit like a melted Gatorade, Powerade, but with the popping pearls. This one's a little bit creamier. This might get you a little bit closer to one of those Cloud Saturn drinks that they got at Shin Futaga, one of the modern Taiwanese spots. So I'm gonna give this one a two out of five. This one, a one out of five. This is straight power. Andrew, is it going to save Starbucks America from no, flagging sales? No, it will not. It will not save Starbucks. These are not the drinks, man. Basically what I wanted to reiterate. You say they're not it. This is not him. These drinks are not him. They are not it. They are not they. they these drinks are unrecognizable to what I believe as boba. Like there's no milk tea, there's no soft chewy pearls, it's the popping pearls. Right. I think popping pearls are whack by the way. So do you period. think it was a bad attempt at trying to almost find an in-between point between almost like a uh, pink drink, a Gatorade and a popping pearl boba? Essentially, listen, they're just doing what Dunkin' Donuts did a year ago, man. It's really not that big of a deal. But anyways, David, we got a whole bunch of other comments that we're going to go through. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about Starbucks declining sales, 5% every year. They're Profits are going down, and they are actually closing some locations, which is rare for Starbucks. So let's talk about it, David. Yep, let's break it down. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Smile Out Sauce at SmileOutSauce.com. I'll say this, man. Uh, any company can do anything they want. I mean, I do see some discussion on the internet about whether Starbucks should do this or not, but you would agree, Andrew. Any American company can do anything theoretically, Yeah, right? by the way, they're not selling the traditional boba style. These are popping pearls. I don't recognize it fully as a Taiwanese thing. They might have came from Taiwan. I'm not sure. But popping pearls to me always felt more like a kid kitchen science experiment. Do you think they could do milk teas? Like real bobas? It, because I'd say right now they're about 20% of the way there. 20 turns into 40, turns into 60, turns into 80. Until sooner or later, Andrew, they're full on serving tiger sugar. <laughs> they should have just gone for the actual boba milk tea instead. That would have been more interesting, to be honest. Um, David, to me, uh, you know, Starbucks is declining in sales. I can see why, you know, we live in New York City. There's tons of great little coffee shops. There's tons of great boba shops. I also have cold brew at home. There's also bodegas and delis and the food carts that sell coffee for a dollar. So I can get coffee in so many different ways. The only time I truly go to Starbucks, the only time I'm truly happy to be in a Starbucks is at the airport when I'm traveling. That is... I will give you my money, Starbucks. You somehow get yourself a little reduced fat, little turkey white, egg white sandwich? I like the sandwiches there, by the way. Uh, and the cold brew is cool too. But at the airport, I'll take Starbucks anywhere else. And I'm like, whatever. So there were a lot of people were talking about how Starbucks America has been very traditional versus the Starbucks overseas. But recently, Andrew, they've tried to mix matcha with Irish cream caramel they've tried to do olive oil coffee which might have more came from europe and, and it just really tasted bad and now they're doing spicy refreshers essentially based off mexican um chimango wow so they are trying all types of things i give them credit for trying i want to give starbucks credit for trying and the new indian ceo right yeah the new indian ceo uh hindu guy he's Laxman. he's He's a, he's a little bit more, uh, you know, open to things, but 
They're only trying. A lot of these are not hits. They're nitro cold brews. Cool. You know what? The like interesting it. thing is, Andrew, the former CEO and founder, Howard Schultz, is asking the new CEO to refocus on coffee drinks and almost more go towards the traditional route. But it seems like the new CEO is like, I don't really know, man. This isn't working. We need to try some more like international uh, exposure. I mean, to be honest, listen. You can just get coffee in a lot of different ways now. There's a lot more competition. It's okay, Starbucks. You can't dominate forever. Andrew, let's just get into three thoughts on Starbucks that I pulled from the internet. Some workers at Starbucks even feel like it's wrong for them to be serving all these matcha drinks, all these Mexican drinks, and all the, you know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, get, starting to get into Taiwanese boba now. You, you mean not all the baristas that are hired, want to be cultural baristas, want to be multi Well, they're no, like- No, 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 they respect it. They like the spots, but they feel like it's wrong for Starbucks to step into the mom and pop space. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, again, it's America. You can serve whatever. If it comes from a culture, if they can shout out to the culture, that's all they need to do. But ultimately- the people are going to speak. Somebody said, how can Starbucks balance the middle class, the upper middle class, suburban white mom, soccer mom consumption in a Jeep or a minivan with where America's headed? Like they're basically trying to do both right now because Andrew, they're getting their lunch eaten by younger entrepreneurs, trendier things, cooler things, things that are much more on the pulse of where America's headed. But how do they get that without giving up the short haired soccer moms? I mean, here are the memes right now. Yeah, like the 40 year old soccer mom, 38 year old Maybe soccer mom. Maybe 50 year old mom that's yeah. ordering off the app. With the exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Listen, there's all these direct to consumer brands, obviously Win Coffee Supply, shout out to them. That's yeah. an Asian coffee. There's so many Asian coffee, nah, that coffee. This like, there's like a bunch are, of coffee. Coffee blew up. Andrew, people were asking, is Starbucks headed where GM and Ford and Dodge are headed. Essentially, if you look at the American car manufacturers, they're considered wildly outdated. Is Starbucks going to be outdated soon? Um, somebody said point number two. If Starbucks really wanted to start getting into the boba market, they would have to buy so much more equipment and they'd have to like figure out a way to simplify them because boba shops, they are labor intensive yeah, and not, equipment intensive. Starbucks ain't ready to commit. Starbucks is not ready to commit to the boba life. Let's be real here. They're not ready for it, Dave. They don't want that boba life. I see this struggle, not just in the Starbucks space, which is like quick service coffee. I see it in fast food as well. If you look at the fast food menus overseas, they've already on V2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0. When I look at a McDonald's menu, sometimes it reminds me of the McDonald's menu in the 90s. Mm. It hasn't changed that much. They still serve a Big Mac and Chicken McNuggets. Like, they, you know what I mean? Like, what happened? to the wings what happened to the tenders what happened to like all these other you know fields that it was going to expand into um number three andrew should they stick with what's tried and true because it's going down right now and even in china which is one of starbucks big and mar biggest markets outside of america luck and coffee has surpassed it with drinks like the mao tai baijiu coffee Ah! Look at this Mao Tai Baijiu coffee. They're doing white rabbit candy coffee. They're just doing crazy ass collaborations that Starbucks, even in China, would never touch. I, and that's what's appealing to the Chinese consumer. But I think that here's my overall takeaway is Starbucks is going to do fine. They're going to be around, but they're going to take a hit because they expanded so much in the past 10 years that some of those spots are going to close down. Like I remember... Like five, seven, maybe seven years ago, Starbucks were coming up anywhere. Like you would want to buy a house in a neighborhood that the Starbucks opens up in because they had the real estate algorithm down. Oh, so, yeah, what was the up and coming community, yeah, right? Like Starbucks was the sign of gentrification about seven, eight years ago, right? So you wanted to move in to where a Starbucks is going, right? Because they, they knew, they had the foresight, right? They have all the numbers and whatnot. But- they expanded too much, and some of it's going to contract because there's a million different ways to get coffee now. Bodega, D to C brand that you order. You can get off Amazon. You can get it at your coffee shop down the block. You can get it at Boba Shop. A lot of Boba Shops now have coffee. So, I mean, just coffee's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. In a way, the coffee market is maybe bigger than it's ever been. Yeah, I would say more people are drinking coffee for that caffeine fix to keep them like working throughout their day than ever have before. But yes, people do not want a $12 thousand calorie Frappuccino anymore. Yeah, actually all those videos, David, about like how many calories like your average Starbucks like vent venti was. It, I mean, it was like uh, 800, 900 calories for a drink. All right, just to end this video, Andrew, give your prediction. What's going down? Are these 
middle America brands that dominated for so long, changed the rest of the earth, but now are lagging behind in their own home market. What are they going to do? Reinvent themselves. Stick with the old way. Double down. Pick new paths. Here's what's going to happen, Starbucks. I'm telling you right now, this is the peer into your future. I'm just, you're, you're going to have to close down some more locations. It's going to contract. But what you're going to do is you're going to have to buy up or start a new boutique hipster brand coffee shop and make them smaller. Like mini Starbucks reserves or what? Right. Min, maybe mini Starbucks reserves or you buy out some more brands, some more other coffee brands, and you're going to go through that. And then you're going to give a different experience. Right now, walking into these big Starbucks spaces, people kind of sick of it. And the Gen Z, they not on it. There's a million ways to get coffee and you got to meet people where they're at. Boom. Hey guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Should uh, Starbucks serve boba? Can Starbucks serving more boba-like items save it from its declining future? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. What is the future of these general American brands that had a few great decades but are now seemingly in steep and inevitable decline? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace.